Hey Bill, I'm Andrew LaRue. I'm from Northwest Ohio. Thank you for taking my question. My question is where um, I've been indoctrinated with religion most of my life and I'm 20 years old, 20 years old right now and I'm just kind of opening my mind up to um, what, what I've learned from science and I'm just kind of wondering how do I re-educate myself because uh, religion is all I've really ever known so I'm just looking to start over. Thank you. Andrew, this is a heavy question. How should you deal with science and religion? What I tell everybody, uh, by analogy, when you learn about what we in science education like to call skeptical thinking or uh, critical thinking, where when someone says, uh, I have the ability to communicate with the dead, for example, at first you go, wow, really? And then they show you the evidence, which is you in a dark room and they hold hands and a ghost appears in the corner and you hear hissing sounds. If, you believe, if you're led to believe that they're ghosts, at first that seems quite reasonable to you. But after you start thinking about it skeptically, you go, that's, that's probably a guy with a handkerchief on a stick and a steam kettle making hissing sounds, probably. Which is what Houdini did, by the way. So you come to abandon or change what you were brought up believing, not in a moment, not in a, in a revelatory instant, but over the process of many months and years. So I encourage you when it comes to religion is to evaluate the claims, which is a big thing in skeptical and critical thinking. Somebody claims that the, uh, he, it was through his mind that he was able to get the tide to go extraordinarily low at the Red Sea. It could be, it could be, but there may be other explanations. It could be that um, when uh, a football player or a baseball player in the U.S. has a successful play, hits a double at a critical point in a baseball game, scores a touchdown at, at an opportune moment, it could be that there is a divine spirit that enables this person to do this extraordinary thing at that moment. Or it could be that the person has been practicing this for years and years and years, and he was at the right place in the right time and caught the ball or hit the ball or what have you. Both uh, are explanations for you to evaluate. Then uh, the big thing is when it comes to ethics and morals and religion, just see if there's anything different between what religions want you to do and what you feel you should do, what you think is ethically innate uh, within you. Uh, for most people, most people are not inclined to murder people, but the, certain religions, quite reasonably, have rules against that. <laughs> it's antisocial. Uh, see if that See if that comes from within you or it comes from outside of you, from without you. And then evaluate each claim and don't beat yourself up. It takes to become, uh, I'm not talking about religion, I'm talking about to uh, be skeptical of astrology, be skeptical of extraordinary magic tricks, to be skeptical of uh, faith healing, to be skeptical of crop circle origins. These things, it takes a way of thinking that you don't develop in an afternoon. You kind of, you kind of got to let them steep, turn over in your mind. But I hope you do a lot of it. And all the time you spend on thinking about these thoughts will lead you somewhere. Now, I don't know exactly what you were brought up with, but if you're in Ohio, it's very reasonable you're in the Ohio River Valley. You're probably brought, brought up with a lot of the Bible. Uh, I really encourage you to read the Bible. Just read it and see if it all... See if it seems to be literally true to you. And they added some extraordinary penalties for crimes that, or for perceived misdeeds that the modern penalties aren't as severe. And there might be good reasons for that. If you're in a small tribe, uh, you, you, survival is a big deal and you got to think fast and take swift action. Uh, now, after many centuries of uh, reflection, our society has very different approaches to some of these, these deeds that are described. If, if the Bible is what you're brought up with, you might be brought up with something else. 
but just remember, don't beat yourself up. Get into skeptical thought. Check out skeptical websites. And do not, careful, because there are English words that come to us from Greek. Do not confuse skepticism with cynicism. Those are two different things. Cynical means you don't have any expectation of good outcomes. Skeptical means you want things to be proven or shown. The two very different things, but because the words come to us from Greek and we, we merge or blend the consonant and vowel sounds, they sound very much alike to us, but they are two different things, skepticism and cynicism. It's a cool question, man. Good luck. Mm -hmm.